it's time to look at the Elements Collection, which is actually one of the more complicated collections in the game. I mean, really, this collection is just a bunch of strange cubes, but for some reason, we really want them. There are 15 elements to collect, 14 being from the base game, with one additional element being introduced from the Get to Work expansion pack. You can also store elements neatly on the elemental display rack, which is in desperate need of more color options. Elements can be displayed and they can be studied for a focused moodlet or their emotional aura can be enabled to give all nearby sims a focused moodlet provided that they stay close. So how does one collect these? Well, first you'll need to go about and collect some metals and crystals, which I'll have a full guide to collecting in the description. But a very top line crash course is that you can find these by heading out and digging up rocks. It's worth noting that if you have the Get to Work expansion pack, then there are lots of these on the Active Scientist Careers work lot. Once you have a couple of metals and crystals, then when you click on them, there are two options of interest. The first one being to call the Geo Council about a sample, and the second being to send it off to the Geo Council. Calling the Geo Council will see your sim whip out their phone, and not long after, they'll be told what elements make up that crystal or metal. Generally, there's two to three elements that make up each crystal or metal. Note that this interaction or phone call takes a hot minute, but if you cancel it mid-call, then you'll be told the elements that make up the metal or crystal immediately, which we love. Now, if you send that crystal or metal to the Geo Council, then they'll break it down. And a day or so later, when the mail arrives, you'll receive one of the elements that the crystal or metal is made up of. Note that you can send multiple metals and crystals into the Geo Council at one time and they'll all be extracted and returned in the mail in one go, leading to a rather exciting mail day. I'll have a list of every element and which crystals and metals can be broken down into them in the description. But while we're here, it's also worth noting that if you have the Vampire's Game Pack, then if a vampire has level 3 of the Vampiric Strength Power, then your vampire will be so strong that they'll be able to crush metals and crystals into elements, essentially allowing for a much quicker process. And while we're talking about occults, alien sims from the Get to Work expansion pack have a very handy power, being that they can transmute crystals, metals, and elements. When an alien performs this interaction on either a crystal, metal, or element, then the collectible will transform into another object from one of these three collections. So while a crystal could transform into another crystal, it could also transform into a random element that you need. Now aliens have a 4 hour cooldown on this interaction, but it should be noted that if your sim reaches level 10 of the scientist's career, then they can make and drink the alien aura serum. Drinking this will give your sim an 8 hour focused plus 3 moodlet, and during this time your sims will have access to alien powers without any cooldown, meaning that you can transmute lots of metals, crystals, and elements in the hopes of getting the elements that you're missing. Get to Work also brings with it the secret alien homeworld of 6am. The easiest way to get here is to buy and build a rocket and train your rocket science skill to level 10. After that, upgrade your rocket with the wormhole generator, after which you'll be able to use it to go to 6am. Alternatively, you can reach level 10 of the scientist career and then build and upgrade the Electroflux wormhole generator before traveling through it to reach 6am. Now getting to 6am is important for two reasons. One being that there's lots of collectibles, including crystals and metals to be found here, and two being that many of the crystals and metals that are exclusively found here are needed to get the Xenopetrium element that comes with the Get to Work expansion pack. And while we've touched on the scientist's career, it's also worth noting that at level 5 in the career, you can make the cloning machine. You can use this handy device to make copies of crystals, metals, and elements, giving you more to work with and break down into elements. There's also one major addition from the Get to Work expansion pack that makes the element collection a lot easier to complete and that's the chemical analyzer. Now, practicing analysis on this device will train up your logic skill, but it will also see your sim gain various elements from time to time. While it mainly gives common elements, it's still a great way to kickstart your element collection. 
You can also use the chemical analyzer to analyze elements, and this gives a small chance to separate out an element from it, essentially giving you an additional element. Note though that each element can only be analyzed once, and you cannot analyze elements that you received through this process. Another handy tip to know is if you have the Island Living Expansion Pack, then the Volcanic Activity Lot Challenge can see lava rocks fall from the sky, and breaking these open can give metals and crystals that you can then send into the Geo Council for elements. And if you have the Seasons Expansion Pack, then sometimes during a thunderstorm, if lightning strikes your yard, it will leave behind an element, though note that it can sometimes leave behind a metal or crystal too. You can also use the Dr. June's weather control device object to force thunderstorms. Finally, Seasons also lets you give Sims gifts, and this can be a good way to get a final element or two if you have another Sim that has the element you need. Simply send them over and get them to give the element as a gift. When you complete the collection, you'll be given a cute plaque for your efforts, which can just be nice to display. And with that, we're at the end. That's a complete guide to collecting elements in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And have an amazing day. See you later.